This video is going to look at the 7.01 update for the iOS, in particular at how you can make the font and icons bolder and more accessible. On the left is an iPhone, which has iOS 7 but has not had the 7.01 update applied. And the image on the right is the iPad, which has had 7.01 update applied. And straight away you can see there are some differences, particularly when you look at the dock. And the dock on the iPhone is very transparent and you can see a little bit of the background through the dock. It makes it very difficult to read the actual uh, icon text. It's very thin, it's very white, there's just no contrast. When you look at the iPad one and that's had one of these settings applied to which is reduced transparency so the dock looks like a solid gray and the text has changed to black and it's much bolder you can see even in the uh, icons on the ipad that the text is much bolder and easier to read now the 701 update i fixed many of the issues that i had the keyboards have much more contrast so if i was to go and search for an app this is the keyboard that that comes up so there's a lot more contrast we compare it to the one on the iphone it just still got that transparency and really hard to read even in when you've got to enter some text so if we go into the notes app and enter some text the keyboard has much more contrast the letters are bold by default now didn't have to change anything on that one as we look at notes and that's still that flat thin text really hard to read you can see it much easier in uh, menu so if we looked at the settings menu and see the the bold of the text in the iPad and still have that thin text on the iPhone the motion you can turn off and you can also turn off motion just in the wallpaper and not the uh, icons. So if I was to open up Mail on the iPad, it has that animation where it just whooshes up at you. Whereas if I open up Mail on the iPad, it's just more of a gentle opening. And when you close it, a gentler transition on the iPad, it does that same animation that just drives you nuts. So let's look a bit more closely then at what you have to do to make these changes. So starting with the iPad, which has the update applied and all the settings turned off. So let's look at how you can make your text bold, increase your contrast, darken the colors, make the dock stand out. So it all happens from the accessibility menu. So you go into the settings, general accessibility, and it's in this middle section here larger text, bold text, button shapes, increase the contrast, reduce the motion, and on and off labels. So the first thing we'll look at is larger text. So if we turn that on, any apps, some of the apps that you use, third-party apps, will support larger text. So if I want that the text to be larger, I can adjust it as large as I like. And then any app that supports larger text will use that setting. Look at button shapes. This is the button at the moment, the iOS 7 button, which just has a little arrow here and quite difficult to actually see what you should be doing. There is a setting here called button shapes. If I turn that on, it now gets a little shaded button which is a little bit easier, at least you can now see where the button is and what direction it's going. But I think this one's a bit of a personal choice. I turn it off, it still looks okay. But you can also have it on, so I'll leave the button shapes on. The green indicates that that switch or setting is turned on. And if you wanted to, you could turn on the on-off labels, which would give you a vertical white line. So if I turn that on, that now gets a little white line to say yes it's on. Now remember these settings are in the accessibility section so they are for visually impaired people. So some of them might not seem that useful to you but that's the reason that they're in there. So we'll leave that one on. 
um, reduce motion. Now if I just get out of this, put it to sleep and wake it up, this is part of the animation I don't like. Things just come flying up at you. Reducing the motion. In the settings, reduce motion. We'll now reduce the motion of that interface and things won't come flying up out at you. They'll just be more gentler. So anything that I open, any app that I open, say this one, it's just going to open with a, a transition, not like fly up at me. If you just want to stop the motion in the wallpaper, then you can just reduce the motion in that. In accessibility, make sure that reduce motion is off and go to wallpapers and brightness and select your wallpaper and this is a parallax wallpaper and once that's selected you see a little button down here perspective zoom on and if you can turn that off and now the wallpaper will be still it won't move but you'll still get the animations in the icons and so i'm going to turn all of my reduced motion on now the other thing you can do is make your text bold so turn that on and then you will have to restart the ipad so let's pause while that happens. So now it's bold. All the icons are bold. Go back into settings and into accessibility. And you can also increase the contrast. So if you go into there and there are three settings in there. First one, reduce transparency, will improve contrasts on backgrounds and it also will help your dock, as well as the control center and the notifications bar so if I pull that down that's much easier to read now the transparency is gone so you can't see back to the background and the control center is also much got much more contrast and it's easier to to see the distinctions between these icons here and whether they're on or they're off and it also turns your dock into a a uh, solid block of color with black text instead of white text and contrast is sharper and bolder so i like that the other thing in the reduce co in, in the contrast menu darken colors will darken all of the system colors and icons and reduce white point if you have a screen which is very bright then it's, it will just take the edge off that whiteness when i turn that on it just goes a little bit grayer just takes off the the brightness which i'll leave that one off uh, the the fonts will change depending on the the background you the wallpaper you use if i change the the wallpaper and stick select a different one you can certainly see there the, the boldness and the thickness of that text, so it's much easier to read. I set that as my home screen wallpaper. And it's, it's very easy to read now. Much happier with this update. It just takes, which takes away some of the transparency and the flatness of the original iOS 7. So that's all for this video.